Now this last package today is somewhat unusual. It's come all the way from Hong Kong. A lady named Yvonne who works for Alpha Tech Union Repair Technology has very generously, I must say, sent me the best Christmas present I've had this year. And it's a high definition LED projector. So I'm going to open that up now and have a look at it and tell you maybe a little bit about it if I can work it out. Oh, that's very flash, isn't it? How's about that? What I like about this is obviously it's a, a portable system, a transportable system, and it would probably appeal to small businesses and social clubs and things like that if they want to do a little presentation away from home or away from their base. Well, it's well packaged. Look at this. It's upside down. So this is the Goody YG620. Uh, it's a L LCD projector. So just looking at this unit now, it's uh, very clean looking. Let's see what else, what sort of accessories it comes with. Oh, there's a remote. Now here's something that's a bit annoying. It's got the wrong plug on it for y y Australia. So this is your standard sort of uh, lead that goes into your power supply on your computer. I've got a few of those in my box. It's a box of leads I've got in in the other room, so I'll grab one of those out in a minute and we'll power this thing up and see what it can do. Right, it says it's got TFT liquid crystal display technology. The resolution is 920 by 1080. It can project up to the screen size of 173 inches, which is huge. It's about the size of this whole cupboard behind me, I think. Projection distance up to 5.6 meters. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm going to go and uh, plug this in now and power it up and uh, we'll discuss some of its features. So the first thing I've noticed uh, is this easy focus lever that moves the lens forwards and backwards. On the rear of the unit there is an inlet filter for the cooling fan. There's also a larger one on the side. There's a fan in there that cools the LED bulb. And apparently these bulbs now last 55,000 hours, which is the equivalent of 15 years of life if you use it for five hours a day. These inlet filters for the fan are both easily removed and also easy to reinstall after cleaning. Underneath and at the front, there is a neat extendable footrest so that if you are using the projector on a tabletop, for example, you can fine tune the angle of the projector to line the image perfectly with your screen. There is also some threaded attachment points to use if you wish to mount the projector on your ceiling, etc. You don't necessarily need a screen to use this projector. If you have a spare room in your house, you could just paint one wall white and project onto that. On the rear of the unit, you can see there's a VGA input, two HDMI inputs, there's a five volt out input, not too sure what you use that for. There's a USB input, AV input, and not only that, there's a slot for a micro SD card. Now I've set up the projector in my media room, which is equipped with a 90 inch screen. I've sat the projector on top of the box it came in to raise it up so it can project over the top of the front row of seats, just for this demonstration. Now let's have a look at the main menu. There's lots of options and settings here. In this example, if you were to mount the unit upside down on the ceiling, you can use this option to invert the picture. The other menu options are shown here. This is literally five minutes after taking it out of the box. And I must say that I'm very impressed with the quality and clarity of the image. I can't believe you can get this quality projector for this price in this day and age. It's absolutely amazing. Everyone should have one. Even Kevin is impressed. Kevin, get out of there. If you're interested in acquiring one of these, uh, Yvonne has sent me a couple of links for you to use to get a heavy discount off of the normal retail price. And the links are in the description down below. Uh, the New Year sales will be upon us any day now. So if you're looking for a fantastic gift, for your family or friends, I think that this projector would be a great and affordable option. 
All right, so the first one today was a key for a Corgi Rockets, and that came from Mark Peterson in Corio, which is just down the road from me. So I'm going to put this red pin in here for Mark. There we go, and that's for the Corgi key. Massiage Grad from Warsaw, who kindly made me a scale model of my house. How weird. Here we go, I can't see because the phone's in the way. Uh, Warsaw, there we go, that's yours, thank you. Okay, next up, a little black pin here for Bill Watson, who's from Scotland, right up near Inverness. So I shall put that in now. I've never had one so far north yet in England, there we go, in the UK rather. So thank you, Bill. Michael Burridge from South Burlington in Vermont. You've got a nice sky blue pin. And I can see Burlington. It's right there. You're from South Burlington, so there we go, that's yours. William Deegan from Pottstown in Philadelphia. Last time I gave you a pink pin, I'm giving you a yellow one this time around. Here we go, right about here. It's very difficult for me to see at this range. Oh, get it in the map. There we go. That's yours, William. Thank you. Okay, next one. Yellow pin for Paul Hatto in Florida which is uh, where he's from, Ormond Beach, which is just north of Daytona Beach. So I can see Daytona Beach on there. So I'll put it really close because it's a huge scale map. There we go. That's for you, Paul Hatto. Well, that concludes the last episode of Marty's Matchbox Makeover's unboxings for the year 2019. I hope you enjoyed it. And if so, come back next year and we'll do it all over again. So until then, Happy New Year and see you later. Bye.